हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू गाइस बीएम बीएम वेरी गुड या या you like to speak spanish lately fredis no nah, i like to fool around <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay okay welcome guys thank you for your punctuality <clears throat> i know that wait a second i um i know that um today i don't know if it is raining where you live here where i live is yeah it's raining it was okay so here has been raining actually the classes have been suspended so it's raining pretty bad um i don't know it, it is said that is the all the or all, all the cities and towns that are close to the to the shore that's what they're saying i don't know it's it's what they're saying okay but thank you for being here i really appreciate your punctuality and i really appreciate sorry my throat I, i think it's because of the weather um i really appreciate that you're here today remember this 120 minutes and tomorrow 60 minutes are the last attendances that you're gonna get so if you haven't had enough attendance this is your time to get some minutes right because remember if you don't accomplish all the time here in the class, um, you're not gonna be promoted to the next module. Because that's that's something that, that InsaForb asks your attendance and your grades. I'm gonna check on your grades later today. When we finish the class, I'm gonna check your grades. And I'm gonna see if you are, I don't know, if you have worked a little bit more, because yes, they have some students that haven't, that hadn't worked, I don't know, more than the unit two or unit section one, section two. That's what that's what they worked. So I'm gonna check later today and I hope that you're working a little bit more or at least I'm hoping that you finished all the exercises, <clears throat> all the ex, I'm sorry, all the exercises in the platform because that's very important for today because tomorrow is the last day that i have to update no tomorrow morning before the class i have to do it before we get to the class i have to update your grades um other thing that i have to tell you is that you have to work on um on your paperwork i don't know if you already asked the paperwork to your employees i, I think it has to be human resources that's what I think. So they have to send the paperwork. Otherwise, it's gonna take a little, it's gonna take a lot of time to get to the module number two of the advanced level. Actually, I think there are a couple of new. I'm sorry, guys. A couple of new participants that are gonna be joining the next module. I think so. I don't know, but I think so. Uh, and I hope that we start really soon, okay? Um, today, I, I apologize that I'm going to be, I don't know, I have something here. I, I don't know if it is about the brain. Or what could help you out? What is it? Some, what could help you out is if you mix some honey with, um, with lemon and you drink it, that will help you out a lot. Yeah, I used to do that with uh, honey and chamomile. You know what is chamomile, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I do with him. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna make a tea later, but right now I, I cannot. <laughs> so um, let's start with the class. Uh, we're gonna do some pronunciation practices. We're gonna see some grammar topics again. If you have questions about any exercise on the platform, it can be a section, it can be a midterm or the final exam. If you have questions on that, please ask me so I can help you with that okay there's Teacher, not... you you already took the, the attendance for the first time no 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 i haven't oh, okay 
I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm just yes, going yes. To explaining. Okay, and I'm and I'm giving some extra time to the ones that are not connected. Okay, so yeah, I need you to. Well, yeah, we we're okay. I got confused. What I was saying? What was I saying? <laughs> we're gonna do some things today, okay? And oh, uh, if you have any doubts, any doubts about the platform, please let me know, because I'm gonna help you with that. Okay. With not further ado, we're gonna go to the attendance. I'm gonna start calling roll. Let me see if I can divide my screen, split my screen. Okay. Today is, what are we? Today is 14. Oh, here we are. Okay, wait a second, you guys. Okay, Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. Well, he's not coming anymore, anyways. Just a second. Okay, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present teacher. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortes Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Now, yesterday we were talking about reported speech. It was clear, and I well, that's what I think. If not, let me know. That we use reported speech to talk about something that someone said. So you're giving information. They're not the person, like a direct object that is indirect object, because it will be direct speech and indirect indirect speech. That's what it's called. I don't know if you have heard about that. Direct speech. And direct speech. Direct is what I'm doing right now. I'm speaking to you. It's my, it's me, right? But when I'm talking about something, bless you, when I'm talking about something that someone said, that is not direct. I'm talking about something else, okay? So we have those two. I don't know, how are you doing with the passive voice? I don't know if you told me about that. I think the passive voice is easy as well. It's like the reported speech. You only have to know how to place or how to talk about the tense. That's what you have to know. And obviously uh, realize or know what is the object in a sentence and what is the, um, the, the, the subject, an object and the subject, and that's it. But do you have any questions about that passive voice? Nope. Okay, perfect. If you don't have questions about that, I would like to start with a reading activity, okay? And have you had the chance today to practice the tongue twister? Nope. No? No, really. Not no, really. <laughs> okay. It's always that. It's like, no, teacher, no, we haven't. 
So that's why when we come here to the class, we try to do it, right? Because otherwise you don't have the time. Maybe you're busy. I know that you're busy. I understand that I'm an adult <laughs> and I have many things to do as well. So yeah, I understand that. Anyways, um, so we're gonna practice a little bit, just like five minutes of tongue twister to practice again. I heard last time, I heard that we're still doing the piquet and picoled, piquet, piquet. We have to pay attention to that. All, another thing, wait, let me show you because I'm looking at it and I'm not showing it. Okay, this is the thing. The other thing that I realized is that you, you get confused, well, some of you, not, not all of you, get confused with Peter and Peppers. Say peepers, papers, but it's peppers. This is pronounced as it is. This is said as it is, right? Peppers, right? E, E, peppers. And yeah, just that. We're gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna give you five minutes to practice and then we're gonna come back to do the pronunciation, I mean, to do the reading comprehension activity and to go back to the grammar point. Hey, we're gonna have a lot of conversations today as well. Let me see, David is in the same room. Yeah, he is. Okay, let's go. Francisco. Hello, teacher. You get Learning. connected to the class? Yes, actually. Actually means actualmente. Okay. Actually, it is not actualmente. Actually, it's in realidad. Currently? Currently. Ah, okay. right. Currently. Recently. You can say recently. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, don't worry. So I'm gonna send you the breaker room. Your classmates are doing a uh, pronunciation practice, okay? Ah, okay. okay. Could you please uh, near me with uh, Freddy? You wanna be with Freddy? Yeah, please. Uh, okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you.
Virginia, what happened? Hello. You just connected? But you were connected, right? Or yes, no? I'm connected, but with the cell phone. I always have problems with my computer. Oh, you want to connect with your computer? Yes. Okay, I'm going to send you your in the, in the break room one, right? Yep. Okay. We do not share your screen also. I allowed it you right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Erwin, what happened? Teacher, I had a problem with my internet and, and I had restarted my computer at that moment. Oh, okay, okay. And you were in a break room? Yes, please, 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 please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Good evening, Thelma. Thelma, I'm sending you to a breaker room.
Hello. So there were a lot of people like, like coming out of break rooms. I think the internet connection today is not the best of all. Like it is not, it is not good at all. I don't know if it is raining where you live. Here where I live, I told you it's raining and it's raining maybe cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's raining, teacher. David, where you work, are the classes suspended or not? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet, yes, not yet. Maybe something can can happen, <laughs> but <Yeah>. not yet. <laughs> the Ministerio de Educación sent the, like, posted yes. something about like every like every department it's gonna decide whether they go or not yes yeah so my it has said that we are not going because we live very close to the shore so nope no going yes okay we're gonna go now and see who wants to say the tongue twister who's gonna be the brave one Yesterday we heard uh, some students, so now I want to hear some other students. Me, teacher. Excellent, Dori. Is that the attitude? Do you want me to share the screen? Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick. A peck of pickled peppers. Where is the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got excited and changed it. <laughs> good job. Good job. Excellent. Good job. That's the attitude. Es que no aplaude en video de la mano. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. So who's going to be the next one? <laughs> Madeline. Okay. Peter, Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. He pick up a pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers, where is the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Excellent. Good job. Just here is peck. Okay. No pick. It's peck. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Peck. Excellent. Another person? I'm going to try. Excellent, Manuel. That's the attitude. Okay. Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers, a pick of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickle? Pepper Peter Piper pick. Good job, Manuel. Excellent. And applause to Madeline and applause to Manuel. Good job. Good job. You see, William is doing the same thing. <laughs> good job, you guys. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay. So here's my advice. If you want to take it, take it. If you don't, Remember always, if you learn English and you, well, you, you already learned English, you just have to improve it and make it better. But if you stop practicing, you will forget it. A hundred percent sure, you will forget it. Then you're gonna start studying again and it's gonna be more complicated than it was at the beginning because you're gonna be frustrated because how could I forgot what I learned? Now, what you need to do to not forget what you learned is to practice, okay? If we go into a pause right now, okay, because maybe we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna have one week or two weeks. I hope that it's only one week because when it's two weeks, we tend to get a little bit of I don't know, a little comfy and we're like, nah, I don't want to go back to classes. I, mean, I don't know. I like to sleep early or I like to play video games instead of being in the class, right? Or at something. Watching videos on YouTube can last forever. That's forever, right? <laughs> okay, so if you don't want to lose that rhythm that we have right now, practice. Try to say one tongue twister per day and just try to like repeat it like, maybe three, four, five times, just say it. And then you're gonna be practicing pronunciation. If you don't wanna lose your grammar, maybe watch a video about some grammar topics where you have problems. Try to read in English, but try to read 
basic stuff. Don't start reading like a novel, a Nobel Prize winning, I don't know, something. Don't start reading complicated things on how do, how does the universe work? And it's like, eh, you're not gonna get the, 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 the language there. It's very different. Oh I'm, go oh, I'm gonna read how they created this cure or how they are creating or how they are making the cure for cancer. I'm gonna read that. It's like, mm, maybe you don't get all the medical terms you're gonna be using there, but start reading basic stuff. It can be a biography. It can be, I have Scooby-Doo books. I don't know, when I was in the United States, they gave me books, like books that kids didn't want anymore. And I was like, okay, just give me the book. And I, I will, I don't know, I will read them. I will give them away or something. I have Scooby-Doo books and I read them. I just read them. That's what I like to do because I don't know. It, sometimes they are funny <laughs> and sometimes they are also, you get new phrases and new words from the books. And that's gonna help you with grammar as well. And then listen stuff, listen music in English, listen different things that you like and start watching, as I told you before, watch cartoons, but don't watch House, Dr. House. And you're gonna be like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Eh, yeah, obviously you don't get it, okay? Or, the, or try to watch sitcoms. Do you know what is a sitcom? No, a sitcom is a TV show that is funny. Sitcom like Friends, The Big One Theory, How I Met Your Mother, um, the, office. the Office, Modern Family, many, many, many of them that you can watch, okay? Because they're funny, they use simple language. Don't start with the ones that are really complicated, the law and order. Maybe you won't get the idea. You will get the idea just by looking at it, maybe. But about the laws, mm, so some terms there that are very confusing. Okay, so we're gonna go and do some reading and listening practice. The first one we're gonna do is a reading. The reading is gonna be about Charlie Chaplin. Do you know who he was? You don't know who no. was he? Yeah. Charles Chaplin? You don't know? Yes. He was a comedy. He was a comedy what? Um, he was Silence. in the He was in right? the early, 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 early times a comedy actor, right? Yes, I like um <laughs> I don't know how to say it. He didn't talk all the time, just uh, behaviors. Exactly. Like, exactly. I don't remember the phrase. It's like um, trying to be funny, but not talking. Yeah. Just, just as yeah. a comedian. Hmm? Like mimicking, like when- mm -hmm. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah, exactly. He was like, with his body, his expressions, and the things that were happening also in the in the video, he was doing the comedy because audio was not available. And he started just with the music in the background, right? Because audio was really complicated to be there. It's for the audio to be in movies, they have to be like a, I don't know how to call that, but it's a microphone. And so they are speaking and the microphone is over, like above them and they are speaking, I don't know, it's something like that. Okay, we're gonna uh, talk about him. We're gonna read his biography and then we're gonna answer a couple of questions that are here. So this is Charles Chaplin. Look, he was born in the 80, I mean, 1889, 1889. So a long time ago, how, well, I don't know, I. I don't think I know a person who was born in the 18, 18th century? Yeah, that's what it, no. In the 1889, not any, well, I don't know. That was like a long time ago, 
a long, long, long time ago. Okay, so we're gonna read this when we finish reading. We're gonna go with this true and false or not given. Not given meaning uh, they don't talk about that in the text. And here we're gonna answer these questions. And then we're gonna answer with or worse these ones. Where was Chaplin born? He was born in, and you're gonna see that. But let me check, I just wanna check something. If you have to give like complete answers. Wait a minute. So, oh yeah, these are open questions. They, these, yeah, these are just open questions and that's it. Okay. I'm gonna do a reading for you right now. So you know pronunciation. And then you're gonna be the ones doing this. Charlie Chaplin, one of the first Hollywood film stars was the British actor, Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin was born in London in 80, 1889. He had a very poor and unhappy childhood. He left school when he was very young and worked, you see, verbs in the past, and worked in a number of jobs to survive. Then he started to perform in a variety theater as a comic actor. In the, I mean, in 1913, he emigrated to America because he wanted to be a film actor. He entered the film industry and invented the char character of Charlie the Trump. Charlotte in Italian. A funny short man with a black mustache. It was a black mustache? Yeah, it was a black one. With a black mustache and bowler hat. He was brilliant. And the comic character he created is still famous all over the world. Chaplin made wonderful comedy films like The Golden Rush, City Lights, Modern Times, Modern Times, <laughs> that's funny, and The Great Dictator, The Great Dictator, Dictator, wait, I have to look for the word, Dictator, 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 sorry. The Great Dictator. Almost all the, these films were silent. That is, they didn't have spoken dialogues or a soundtrack, but subtitles helped to tell the story. A pianist, 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 you think it's pianist, but let me check. Pianist, I think that's the pronunciation. Pianist, yeah, pianist. Okay, a pianist sometimes played the piano too. Fast music for the exciting parts and slow music for the sad parts. By 1919, Chaplin was rich and he started the United Artists Studios with some other famous Hollywood, Hollywood stars. He lived, remember to, guys, please remember to use the correct pronunciation of the verbs in the past. He lived in the USA for many years, but the government didn't like his political opinions as they thought he was a social, socialist. So in 1952, when Chaplin tried to return to the USA, after a journey to London, the Americans did not allow him back. Then Chaplin decided to live in Switzerland until his death in 1977. He returned to the US only once in 1972 when he received a special Oscar for his life work. This was a Hollywood way of saying sorry to one of its greatest stars. Wow, didn't know that. 
I didn't know that. Well, a lot of information here. Okay, so he, let me see. He migrated in 1913 to the United States. And by 1919, he was already rich. So only six years, that's what it took him to become rich, right? Yeah, only six years, yeah, that's, that's impressive. Okay, because yeah, when you have it, you have it. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna do that activity, but try to read it. I read it, I read it, yes, but you're gonna read it again and try to read the correct pronunciation of the verbs in the past. And if your classmates have problems with the pronunciation of the verbs, please help them out because we are in the breakout rooms to help each other and to learn with each other. Is that clear? Yep. Okay, and then answer the questions that are below there. Okay, let's see. The beat, the beat, the beat needs to be in the same breakout room. Let's see. Teacher, I'm here. Okay, okay. I haven't gone through the second attendance. I'm gonna go in a couple of minutes when we finish this activity, okay? Let me see, there we go. Let's go. And you can share screens now. Francisco.
Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. What happened? I don't know. It's soon is freezing, but it's not respond. It is or it was? Did you fix it? It was. I think yes, but I need to restart the, my computer. You restart it or you need to restart it? Yeah. Okay. No, so I, now... I, I restarted. Okay. Okay. And you were in a breaker room already? Yes. I think yes. With whom? Uh, with Freddy, please. No. <laughs> no. You want to be with Freddy again? No, I think you were in the breakout room one. Oh, okay. okay. No problem. Let's go. did not allow him back because because the government didn't okay. Like mm -hmm. uh, his political political opinions. Political opinion, and they so he was socialist. Well, 
when did he go back to the USA and why? I guess it's in 1972. Yeah, I think. He... Okay, let's continue. Okay, right. We are talking about where teacher short answer or long answer. You are advanced students, so long answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Charlie's chapter well, was Charlie's more, was in, more London in London in, in... <laughs> 19. 89. Was, was born not in London in 1990. No, in 1913. 18. 13. He was born in. No, sorry. 18. <laughs> sorry, 18, sorry. 18, 13. Yes. Mm. Fernando, but everybody is participating, right? Yes, yes. All are participants. Uh, Jarvin is bus busy, but he explained us what is the reason because he is quiet. Okay, okay. And Fernando, you're you're with the Bitcoin thing. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want to speak about because it's all all these past days are they uh, were awful in that aspect <laughs> right right they have been hard <laughs> hard times for the bitcoin community to wait <laughs> yeah that's, that's Ellen. what is it that's what world one bitcoin right now yes <laughs> it is it has dropped a lot, a yeah. lot. Saturday. I remember last year it was like 70,000, uh, almost 70,000. Yeah, it has, yeah. Okay, let's talk about Charles Chaplin better. It's a better topic right now. <laughs>
Hello. I'm sorry that it took a little bit longer than I told you, but I had a, a really bad cough, really bad cough. So <clears throat> I was handling that. You need a chalk of tequila. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, working hours. If I was not, maybe, but I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a young teacher. <laughs> okay, or it's not. <laughs> yeah, <it's> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go here, guys, with the attendance one more time. Um, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. It's Blanca's birthday. She didn't want to connect. Oh, David. Boy. David Samuel Calves Monterrosa. Present teacher Galdames. Galdames. Sorry, sorry about that. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Um, Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here. Harpin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenny Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see the exercise you were doing. Wait a second. So, Charlie Chaplin, okay, you're going to read the statement and then you're going to say if it was true, false, or not given because you already have the answers. So, let's start with Jocelyn. Jocelyn, first read the first statement and tell me the answer. Jocelyn. Okay, Charlie Chaplin was from the UK. True. Okay. William. He was a happy child. False. Oh. Fernando. He left school when he was 14. Not giving. Okay. Um, Telma. Acting was his first job. Oh, mm? remember, <laughs> it's killed me. You don't remember? No. Okay, can someone help her? Paul. False. He had many jobs, right? Yeah. Uh, Manuel, tell me then the next one. Uh, the trap wore a bowlet hat, true. Thank you. Janari. Um, sorry, 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 teacher. Okay. The Golden Rush was a silent film. I think it's true. Okay. Kenya. Chaplin was the only owner of the United Artist Studios. It was false. Okay. David. Chaplin went to London in 1952 to visit his family, not given. Okay. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Let's go with Predis. Read this and tell me the answer. 
When Chaplin was a child, his family was poor. Okay, poor. Francisco. He worked as a comedian. He worked or he worked? He worked. He worked. Okay. Um, is Erwin. Charlotte is the name A of Italian actor. Okay. Thank you. Doris. Okay. After 1958, Chaplin lived in, in Europe. Europe. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, uh -huh. and the number four, number three. Charlotte is the name, not name of an actor. It's the name of a comic, a comic character. Yeah, letter C. Letter C. Yes. Yes, because the name in, in English was Charlie the Trump, but in Italian, it's Charlotte. Charlotte in Italian. It's a comic character. Yes. This one. Okay. Yes. Good job. Now, let the question here it was when and um, where and when was Charlie Chaplin born, William? Oh my God, I <laughs> can't remember, teacher. Honestly, you, you can't remember. Where I guess in London, and in nineteen eighty nine. 1989. He he's almost my age. <laughs> he's a millennial. He's a millennial. <laughs> Chaplin now he's is a millennial. A millennial. Yes. <laughs> no, Chaplin is not a millennial. Chaplin was. <laughs> uh, I don't know when he, generations didn't even exist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. Um, 18, right? 18, 18, 89. 18, 89. Yeah. Um, he was born in London. Yes, in London. Next question. Why did he move to the USA, Madeline? Because he wanted to be an actor. Okay. He wanted to be an actor. Let's see. Mm. Okay, a film actor. Correct, good job. Let's go with Manuel. Manuel, the question is, what kind of films did Chaplin make? Comedian, comedy. Eh, comedy, comedy films. Okay, thank you. And they were uh, like all the comedy shows that we know or they were different? It was the only one comedy film, just all the films in silence. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go with boom, 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 boom. Harbin, you there? Or you busy? Yes, I am here. Okay, so what were the characteristics of silent films? <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? No. Okay, um, Kenya, do you remember? No, not really. Fatima? Uh, they didn't have spoken. Uh, I forgot. I had dialogues. Dialogues. Spoken dialogues. Or a soundtrack. Or soundtrack, but the title helped to tell the story. Okay, thank you very much. That is true. Um, David, 
<clears throat> when did he go back to the U.S. and why? Oh, I mean, sorry, what happened in 1952 <laughs> and why? You tell the answer, teacher. The Americans didn't allow him to come back to the U.S.A. because of her uh, political thoughts. Political thoughts, exactly. And that was a mistake, right? That was a big mistake. Yes. <clears throat> okay, well, we're going to be there. We're going to leave it there with that part of the class. And yes, so Chaplin was one of, I still remember, I don't know if you remember, that in, what was this, Channel 10, like the government channel, right? Yeah, you know that? Channel 10, Canal 10, the government channel. So they used to uh, like play Chaplin's movies, like still some years ago, when I was little, they played those movies. Did you ever watch them or not? Never. I was the only poor girl who didn't have cable. <laughs> well, me, me, me too, teacher. I watch all the movies of the Chaplin. Yeah, and, and they played them in, in, in this channel, like channel 10, the government channel. I remember back in the days when I didn't have internet, when I didn't have um, the TV, like with the whole system, the cable, cable you call it in Spanish, and we didn't have that. So I remember that I used to watch two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Those were the channels that I used to watch. I don't know about you, but I did. And the TV was a TV that you you didn't have a remote controller. You have to go there and yeah, right? Like that. Tuck, 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 and you have to do it like that. White and black? What? No, but I was in the color area already. I was in the color area already. <laughs> I'm older than you. Yeah, you're older than me, baby, probably. That's why. So my TV was still, um, yeah, it, it was it was color one. And, but it, it was connected to the, I don't know how to say this. Can you help me? Antenna in English? I got blocked, mind block. Antina? And? Antina. What? Anton? Is Anton? Yes, Anton. Let me see. Antina. Wait, wait. WN. Wait a second. Antenna. 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 Antenna is true, antenna. So uh, there we have, I'm sorry. From speaking all day long. Okay, so yes, the antenna was um, there and we have to move the antenna and one person was looking at the TV and the other person was moving the antenna. Like, move it to right, the side, no, move it to the no, 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 there, 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 there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something like that, I remember that. And yes, I used to watch cartoons and I knew every time of the day or the schedules of the cartoons and you can look you could look them up in the newspaper right in the newspaper we have this oh this is so nostalgic <laughs> nostalgia right it's it's like going back in time and remembering those days like kids nowadays they wouldn't know what we're talking about right they would be like yeah what what is yeah. it did you play in Arcado. I don't know how can I say Arcado in the it, newspaper. No, but I used to read the cartoons there in the newspaper. Let uh, read the cartoons and yeah, only that. Yeah, only. Mafalda, I, I don't remember. Mafalda. Uh -huh. Mafalda. Garfield. Garfield. There was a doctor. Oh. oh yeah, that doctor. That doctor, I remember uh -huh. that doctor, Doctor Merengue. Andy Pérez. Mickey. Yeah. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were a lot of cartoons there in in the in the newspaper. I remember that. Let's go back here. <laughs> I know, I know. We got excited with the topic, like remember it, remember something. Okay, very good. Now 
<clears throat> we did a reading practice. Now I want you to do a um, listening practice. I don't know if you have ever had the chance to, I don't know, maybe you don't. Have you ever done a test like the TOEFL test or the TOEIC? Nope. No. Okay. Those texts are divided. Wait a second, guys, because my, my, my dogs are going to kill each other. Just give me one minute. No problem. They're fighting, but when when they look at me, they're like, no, we're not doing anything. Who's doing something? I don't know. And they look each, like to each other like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> and I just close the door and they start fighting again. <sighs> well, anyways. Uh, yes, so when the TOEFL test, when you do the TOEFL test or the TOEIC test, to, uh, the TOEIC test, there's a part where you have to do listening. In the listening part, you have three parts. The first one is... What is it? Teacher, you have bad connection. Do I? Yes. Yeah. Really? Can you see me? <laughs> it was frozen. <laughs> uh, we can hear you now. Can you see me now? Yeah. What am I doing? Am I doing a camera? Huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go back. That's a lot, another nostalgic thing. <laughs> okay, so um, I was telling you that in the TOEFL test, uh, you have three parts for listening. The first listening part is that you hear a short dialogue. And after the short dialogue, there's a question. So it's pretty easy. So what were they talking about? Where was this conversation located? What did the woman infer? What did the man infer? That's going to be it. And the second part, it's going to be longer dialogues. And with those longer dialogues, it's going to come like three or four questions. Where were they? Um, what do... We can hear we can hear auto out on play in the background, right? <laughs> in my video, I'm gonna have out on play talking, right? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Well, anyways. Um I got I, I got <laughs> Okay, yeah. So I was talking about the next part. It's going to be longer conversations. And the last part is going to be speech. So you're going to have a speech, maybe a lecture from a professor in the school or at a college, whatever. And then they are going to ask you technical stuff. So that's the listening part in the TOEFL test. Now, I just got like, is someone watching out right now? Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, send you a uh, practice, but this is a really easy practice of, of uh, an audio. It's super easy. It's not like the TOEFL one. I'm gonna show you later how we do the TOEFL ones. It, so this is our listen exercise. When you go and share the screen, please select the screen that you're gonna share. And then down below it says, compartir sonido or share sound. And then you're gonna do that and we're gonna share the screen to listen um, and answer the questions. The listening exercise that we're gonna do is this one. We're gonna listen something here. We're gonna decide if it is true or false. Please listen, read, and answer. Listen, read, and answer. Then you're gonna go here. You hear a conversation about blogging. Sure, choose the correct option, A, B, or C about this. It's pretty easy, nothing complicated. It's really simple to do. Okay, and then we're going to do like a TOEFL test practice with this uh, listening. Is the activity clear for you guys? 
is the activity clear for you out on play? Yeah. I tried. <laughs> okay, let's go.
workforce that's an issue. In a recent survey carried out in the UK, almost 30% of students between the ages of 11 to 18 asked, said that they thought it was acceptable to simply copy texts from websites and hand them in as their own work. But there's a way to fight this problem. Nowadays there is software, such as Turnitin, that can easily spot plagiarized work. Teachers just need to copy a section of a student's text into the software and it will search the internet to see if it already exists online. If more schools start using this sort of software, students will think twice before copying text from the internet and presenting it as their own work. Very interesting. Charlotte Brady, thank you for being with us today. It was a pleasure.
What is that, David? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I, I saw you were like, and I thought, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking about something I was doing for my students. <laughs> you were thinking out loud. Yes. <laughs> this is a problem with mathematicians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good, good, good. It's okay. Okay, guys. Now let's do a listening practice with the TOEFL test version. We're going to see how ready you are for this. Now, I'm going to play here. Wait a sec. Okay, so we're going to go first into a dialogue. We're going to hear a short dialogue. I'm hoping there won't be a lot of commercial or ads. And I'm gonna stop there. So you give me the answer. Please send to the chat the answer. If it is A, B, C, or D, okay? So I'm gonna repeat the activity. We're gonna listen. We're gonna do a, a listening practice as in the TOEFL test. You're gonna have um, time to answer, like really short time to answer, like 30 seconds, and send it to the chat as quick as you can. Okay, let's see. Oh, but send it only to me, okay? Only to Inglés Corporativo, because if you send it, then other classmates are going to see your answer, and that's not valid. Do you get it? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Now listen to a conversation between a student and a professor. Hi, professor. You got a minute? Sure, Christy. Uh, did you pick up your paper yet? I just finished grading them and I was really impressed with yours. Really? Of course. I loved your arguments. And what you wrote about farming for less than $10 a day, it really has incredible real-world applications. I can tell you put a lot of thought into this paper. Speaking of real-world applications, that's sort of what I wanted to talk to you about, the student exchange program. Oh, sure, absolutely. Are you thinking of going somewhere? That's a great program. Well, I have a couple of places in mind, but I really have my heart set on Guatemala. What draws you to Guatemala? I think Guatemala would be the most relevant place for me. It would be perfect to go there so I can do some research about my ideas. I can see where you're coming from, Christy. I think you have some good reasons. I hate to tell you this, but the exchange program in Guatemala is only for Spanish majors, and the Spanish department is usually pretty strict about that. No, there has to be some way I can go. I've already done so much research about it. Guatemala is perfect for my research. It has the exact type of agricultural practices, economy, and environmental conditions I want to study and explore. You make a fair argument, but have you thought of other places? I really wouldn't want you to get your hopes up since it's a program run by the Spanish department, and I can't remember the last time a student was able to go who wasn't a Spanish major. That doesn't seem fair. Is there nothing I can do? They must have let someone go before who isn't a Spanish major, right? I mean, I know some Spanish, if that's any consolation. Look, I want you to have the opportunity to go, and I agree that it could be an ideal place for your research. Since you are very passionate about going, I'll talk to the person in charge of the situation and see if they can find a way to accommodate you. Really, Professor? Thank you, thank you. That means so much to me. I think you should prepare a solid argument to present to the Spanish department just in case. Can you do that? Of course, absolutely. I'll do anything. I'll be ready. Okay, glad to hear it. Let me talk to the department and I will let you know if anything changes, okay? Okay, thanks, Professor. Now, answer the questions. One, why does the student go to see the professor? You have to send it now. Send the answer one in the, in the letter and two in the letter. Oh, and here is two answers. 
me see, select two. Two. Why does Christy want to go to Guatemala? Select two. Three, why might Christy not be able to go on a trip to Guatemala? Four, why does the professor decide to help Christy? Select two. Only a few people are sending the answers. Five. Why does the professor ask Christy if she has thought of other places to go. Supposedly to be a key, a key to the answers. Oh, you send it to my, to the chat? Okay. Let me see, I think there's a key. key. Where is the key? Wait a second, guys. Supposed to be a key. Oh, what is this? Okay, listen here. Number one, letter B. Number two, B and C. Number three, letter A. Number four, B and C. And finally, number five, B. Okay, that's how it is. Now- Only three or five. <laughs> you got three Only, or five? Yes. Though, those part, that part is like the, sh or like the long dialogue and how do you have to guess it? But let me, because actually it's very different wait a second i want to show you how they wait a second. there is one that it's better because they have wait okay this one let's do let's do this one this one okay so here's the situation if i am your teacher in the next module I'm going to start preparing you to text, text, te test, to take tests like this, because it's going to be good for you, because at the end, that's what it validates your English level. But I'm just going to, I just want to show you how a real one works, because that was uh, the long part, but there is a short part, short conversations like this one. So, Section 1. Listening Comprehension. In this section of the test, you will have an opportunity to demonstrate your ability to understand conversations and talks in English. There are three parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Answer all the... Then, on your answer sheet, Wait a 
traffic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. To the garage. Now we will be. Now it will begin. Listen, and you're going to hear a conversation. Then what? So we're going to do like three conversations just to see how you're doing. Begin part A with the first conversation. Okay, so again, you're going to listen a conversation, then you have to answer. A conversation, then you have to answer. You can write it in a piece of paper if you like, and then send me the answer. So it's going to be better for you, faster. Number one. You'd better take the car to the garage from now on. They charged me $75 for a few minor repairs. That's not too bad. What does the man mean? So what does the man mean? I'm gonna do it too. Number two. The International Students Association is having a party Saturday night. Can you come or do you have to work at the hospital? I wish I could. What will the woman probably do? Number three. I think that the game starts at eight. Good. We have just enough time to get there. What will the speakers probably do? Number four. What did you do after you lost your passport? I went to see the foreign student advisor, and he reported it to the passport office in Washington. What did the man do after he lost his passport? Okay, now let's see the answers here. Okay, let's look if you got them right until four. Four of them, teacher. The four of them? Yes. Excellent. So that's the easy part. That's the easy part on the TOEFL test because it's just short conversations. Then we can get into longer conversations and you can take notes on the most important things. Then in the speeches that that's longer and with more technical um, answers. But how do you, it was not so difficult, right? Yes, so so. The okay. thing is, when, when you get older, you remember the scenes four years ago, but 10 minutes ago, you didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's fine. But anyway, so we're going to get to work on these things, okay, guys? And maybe yes. we're going to help you with your level. To, uh, tomorrow is the last class, and we're going to do the survey, so please be here on time, okay? Okay, teacher. Have a good night, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye-bye.